you guys. All right. Surprise Lego live build because this is driving me crazy and I just need some friends to talk to. So if anyone pops in, great. And if not, if you're watching the replay, make sure that you hit that subscribe button at this video if you like what you see and you want to come back. So I am trying to build a grid set. I'm already missing one piece. Yay. My kids got to this first, and I think that's why it's missing. So I kind of just, and I'll show you what I did. See that gaping hole? See the gaping hole right in the middle where there's supposed to be a brick? That's what I'm missing. But in order to know... Hey, Wendy, Wendy Luhu, Lisa, it's Joey's World. Welcome in. I just felt like doing a surprise Lego live stream. Um, so I was, I'm missing a piece, and I figured I need to get this done so I know what other pieces to order. Um, because I don't want to keep, I have to put an order for something already. And I just figured, let me get this done so I see what other pieces I need to order. So here I am. Uh, and I also just kind of wanted to have a chat with you guys, so, while I build. So, this is what we're building, Hagrid's Hut, and we're just going to see how this goes. How's everyone doing on this fine Wednesday? I am not going live later. Tracy will be going live. Tracy Glenn will be going live at 5 o'clock in my stead, and, um... And I'll probably, we switched, so I was going to take his time for tomorrow at 4. I don't know what I want to do. If you guys have any, have any ideas about what we should do tomorrow, maybe just a chat and hang out. Um, I think we might just kind of chill. I have some ideas for future uh, Wednesday whateverness is, um, but I'm going to save those. So I think we might just do a chat and hang out on uh, tomorrow. Um, let's see. Tina McNeil, my neighbor to the west, all done digging out. That's husband's job. I don't have to do that. Yeah, he snow snowballed last night. Um, do we get more snow overnight? I don't even know. My neighbor was outside snow blowing, so I'm assuming um, we must have got more, or he just didn't do it last night. I have no idea. Um, he didn't get that much though. I think they said like four to eight inches in, and that's it. So um, I was gonna do a Lego cam. But I left the bottom piece that goes to the tripod in the car. So there's that. So I figured my message. Um, I figure you guys can just chat with me while I try to do this Lego. Sound good? You did, so we, you probably did too. Okay, so I probably probably got more and I just don't know it. I will be right back. Hang tight. I have a coffee grinder and my husband's not home. I'll be right back. see my mess right here I have to clean up my desk sorry guys yeah she's she thought daddy was on his way home he won't be home for another hour and a half yeah it's just one thirty. so anyways what is everyone up to today anything good I have three o'clock when my husband gets home I usually book it out to go work out and then usually I would come home and then take a shower and then go live at five but since I don't have to do that tonight I gotta go to the store and that's about it I think that's all I'm doing tonight I don't have any meetings sometimes I have meetings on <laughs> Wednesdays every second Wednesday of the month I have a church meeting at 6 30 but i don't have that tonight so that's good Russ says someone is making 
coffee. Yeah, pretty much. It is 18.35 here. Had a day of chores. Okay, 18.35. Military time would be... Mm, five? Nope. Seven. Two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, 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 seven. Right? I'm horrible. Russ, welcome in. It's good to see you. Trying to build this Lego thing. Hagrid's hut. If you are new, popping in, we're just kind of chilling. I'm trying to get this hut done so I know what pieces I am missing so I can order them. I got to order ready to go on lego.com. Um, because you can order the pieces by the brick. Catherine will be welcome in. I went down the rabbit hole. I started with Funko. There are so many choices. How do people decide what to buy? You know who's really good at that? Monarch Moments, Garrett. He is the cause of my Funko obsession. I have to clean my desk around. Um, my husband piled some stuff on top of it last night, and now there's like baby wipes and my things have fallen over. Ugh, it's a mess. Maybe I'll make that a project tonight too. Uh, hands full, hearts full. Welcome in, Carlos. Welcome in. Carlos says you buy what you like. Exactly. I'm very picky with my Funkos. Um, I don't like just any Funkos. And if they're plain Jane Funkos, not a fan. Uh, Garrett from Monarch Moments has been posting some Funkos of the day. Oh, my word. The Chester Cheetah one. Oh, it's gorgeous. The I think I don't know if he did that one yet. I shouldn't give things away unless he's done it. But I know he just did the Chester Cheetah one. And it was... Yeah, Carlos, exactly. Don't spend money on something you won't like looking at. Exactly it. That's why I don't have a lot of Funkos. I'm very picky. It has to really make me feel something. Like, I have to go, wow. It has to have that wow factor um, for me, 100%. So, and I'm going to sneeze. I'll be right back. Someone forgot to take our allergy pill today. Whoa, boy. Okay. All right. So let me show you what this thing looks like so far. Since I don't have my Lego cam because I left the tripod piece that connects to the camera in my car. So, and my husband's not home yet. So this is what the inside looks like so far. You can see the missing piece. Where is it? Right here. I got a hole. I have it marked down that I need that piece, but that's what the inside looks like. And this is the outside so far, which is pretty cool. I dig it. And the light. So the light that goes on easy. The egg is roasting by the fire. This is obviously from I think the second book with the egg, the dragon egg, Norbert. What was that? Uh, I'm not just talking about Funko. I spent thousands on all my stuff, not one piece of my collection I don't like looking at. I agree. Yeah. I mean, why? I'm not just going to collect something just to collect something. Um, so Garrett also showed me those plush Mickeys that you can get on Amazon and for like every month is a different mickey and the fabric is is a different kind of fabric and um there's only a couple i like i'm not going to get 12 of them at 30 bucks a pop just because it's the set i'm going to get which one i like because it appeals to me and that applies with everything um i don't have to worry about what i saw on you excuse me my wife spends it all for me we're good. We're good at that. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. We're very good at that. Uh, and Wendy says, I'm the same, Carlos. If I bought everything, I should probably turn the ring down on my phone. If I bought everything, I would be bankrupt. I choose my things carefully, exactly. Carlos says, well, my wife has the same addiction, so she spends money wisely. Yeah. It's so easy to just go and 
especially with trends and i hate trends i'm going to be honest with you i'm not a trend person do not like trends they don't appeal to me i think that piece is on backwards um yeah it is um trends don't appeal to me i like what i like and if it's a trend if it happens to be a trend then it's a trend but um i just i, I don't like following trends kadani sean jumbo welcome in Good to see you, my friend. Kadani Sean was on with the Mickey Bunch this morning for Brunch with the Bunch. Um, he's going to be starting up a new DVC show, and I'm so excited because I know nothing about DVC. I know bits and pieces, and um, I met up with Tina McNeil on Sunday, and we were talking about it a little bit, and she clued me in on some of the stuff I, I didn't know about. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um Everyone's welcoming Kadani Sean. Now I know I always wonder why people like say it, say that out loud. Everyone's welcoming, welcome, you know, this person, whatever, because there's not really much else to talk about because it's just everyone's welcoming everybody in. So, yay! All right. So for those that just came in, I am working on Hagrid's hut, and a piece is missing. So I'm trying to go through the whole set to see what other pieces I need so that I'm not because. The pieces are really cheap, so let's say you get like, I need one piece right now, so I'm going to get one piece, and it's like 14 cents, and then I'm going to pay six bucks in shipping. So I want to do like a bulk order, I have to order some things for my Lego lightsabers that I make. For those that don't know, I make Lego lightsaber earrings. Um, I don't even have a pair in front of me that I can show you. Oh, I have an unfinished pair, we'll, we'll do this. They look like this. They start off like this, and I make the, I make the lightsaber pot, the the shiny pot, different colors and glitter. I'm working on a pair for Meg Mickey's Magic, who won my Lego earrings for from the auction that is in that auction, and um, she likes Kylo Ren, so I need to order a little bit more pots for the Kylo Ren, which is good because then I can make some more and then sell them on my Etsy shop. Um, Russ says he has a set somewhere. A set of what? Legos? Lunch break is over. I have to get back to work. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Um, Yeah, I don't know. So what are you guys up to today? Besides cleaning and chores and everything else. What does your Wednesday look like? Tina McNeil is excited, Sean, that you're starting a DVC show. You want to give us some info? If anybody wants to come on and join me, I will send you the link. Let me know. I <laughs> Tina McNeil says, Team Marie also makes really cute Mickey earrings, too. Okay, guys, here's the story. And I have to go get the thing to show you. Don't mind my messy desk. Where'd it go now? Oh, come on. Figures. Oh, Jason put it. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. So these tins come in handy. I'll tell you that. Nope. Jason must have put it away. Okay, get these off my desk. What is happening? What mess is this? I know my room is. Okay. He put them away, and that's why I can't find them. But I'll find them. But I will show you guys. So I collect those tins, obviously. You just couldn't just see. I collect these tins. Mint tins. I love them. You can put so many things in them. I clean them up once the mints are gone, and I will put, like, my jewelry crafting stuff inside of them. Um and label them so i had a tin that i made tina mcneil some earrings not these ones but i made her a pair just like this they're not glittered though they're um her favorite color is tail so i made some blue marble tail ones and uh put them in a tin and i thought i wrapped it and we went and met up at a diner right in the middle in between where we live and she opens up the tin, and it's mints. 
I wrapped the wrong tin, guys. I wrapped the wrong tin. Weep for me, people. I wrapped the wrong tin. So now it's just an excuse to meet up again. Yeah. All right, let's catch up and chat. Oh, Russ says he has Hagrid's hut somewhere. Can't find it. Did you leave it back in Kentucky, Russ? I wonder. Uh, Sean says, yes, Tina McNeil, I will be more than happy to have you on. There you go. I love networking. Um, working as always today, just had a few moments, so I thought I would say hi and click that like button. Thank you so much, Sean, for popping in. I appreciate you. And yes, Russ has more tins coming Thursday. Russ is my mint, tin mint supplier. Uh, when there's, there's new ones now, so I'm so excited to see what they look like. And taste like because of the flavors, I guess. They have peppermint and wintergreen. Wintergreen is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, Wendy Luce's tail is my favorite too. Ooh. Tina, Tina says, I wasn't gonna say anything. Those tins are very cute. Yeah, I said it for you. I mean, if I didn't laugh at myself, then I would just cry, so I might as well. <laughs> oh gosh, I know, I know. Ugh, my life is a comic comedic show I'm telling you all right so now we got a table we got a table we're gonna make and I wish I had my Lego cam because I'd show you and I apologize I'm having really too much fun talking to you guys Tina Tins <laughs> possibly still in Kentucky I think I left all my Harry Potter Legos by accident oh no that's a bummer I hate that. I hate that. I really do. It's like, so I left a whole bunch of stuff at my grandmother's house because I lived with my grandmother before I got married and moved out here. And uh, I left a whole bunch of stuff at her house. And she's always saying, do you want this? And then I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about because I forget half the stuff I have. I left like a whole box of um, Lord of the Rings books. She put them downstairs. They got flooded and they got wrecked. I was so sad. It's just like, oh, but it's my own fault for leaving them there, you know? What did I expect was going to happen? Not that that'll happen to you, Russ. I hope not. But that's just, that's my tale. My tale of woe. Hello, Keith. BDF, the BFD. Okay, Keith, I have to know. I know what bdf means big disney fan but what is the b the bfd clue me clue a girl in because i don't know who else did i miss danny grizzle family vacay welcome in good to see you buddy i'm just building lego guys just building the lego guess i'm trying to Danny, are you live tonight twice? Remind me. 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, right? If you guys have not checked out Grizzle Family VK, I highly suggest you do. As well as my partner channel, What in the World with Russ. Oh, no, Russ. That wouldn't be good. I hope not. Oh. Oh, big freaking deal. That's what the BFD means. I was like, what does that mean? Okay, okay. I getcha. Makes sense now. All right. Now I gotta build a door. Another door. I gotta build another door. Right? Yeah, looks like it. Got my door. Gotta build a door. Shelly Stylewalker, welcome in. Chris, Dad Builds, welcome in. If anybody wants to join me, let me know. I will send you the link. Anybody and anybody. Come and have a chat. So I'm not talking to myself up here. I'm not talking to myself. I got you guys, but you know what I mean. I was watching Tom Does Disney before I decided to do this. I love Tom Does Disney. He's a... Uh, he's amazing he's another fellow new englander and he reminds me a lot of me um he also has a channel called uh bricks with a z live bricks live and i love his label builds they're so relaxing 
Well, you remind me a lot of me because he'll start singing. Just he just sing, he just sings, and I do that, and it reminds me of I used to just randomly bust out singing um, when I lived with my grandmother, and it would drive my uncle absolutely crazy. It would annoy the heck out of him. And I used to think it was the funniest thing in the world. Chris is just sitting here drooling at Shop Disney. Well, I think you might you might need to come on and show us what you're drooling at. I don't know. I'm going to send out links if you guys want to come on with me. Don't feel obligated, though. I'm just going to shut that edition out links. Do, 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 do. So you see what I mean? My name is singing. This is my brain, guys. This is my brain. Okay, I'm done. I'm really done. Okay, I set links out. Don't feel obligated to come on if you can't or you don't want to. I'm just sending them out. If you want. Do you want to? Nope. Do you want to duck and let go? I have a frog in my throat. That wasn't going to come out. That would be nice if I tried to hit the note. <coughs> Wasn't gonna happen, y'all. If I say y'all, I'm not even from the south. This is not funny thing. Like you got one accent and then you say like an like so. Okay, my Boston accent and then I'm gonna go say y'all with a Boston accent. How does that work? Hey, you guys. All right, I'm trying to build here. I'm building here. All right, this goes there and a door. I built the door. Like in Dirty Dancing. I carried a watermelon. I want to watch that again. 498 days until my trip to Orlando. It'll come quick. You know you will when it's time to turn the page when you hear do, 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 do. Wait, what? It's the do, do, do. No, so I'm trying to. Oh. Lost and confused. Shelly, where are you at, girl? There you are. I should have sent you guys a link. Did this not paste? This didn't paste. Dang it. Did it work for you other guys? You all use others? Okay, it did. I don't know what the heck I'm sending. I love your accent, Sistina McNeil. Thank you, my darling. We got someone popping in. Whoa. Let me turn my volume down. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. What's shaking? Not a whole lot. Just chilling? Just chilling. Whoa. Sitting here looking at uh, pens on Shop Disney and Dreaming about spending way too much money. Story of my life. <laughs> um, I hear you. I, I had to, I had to close it out before I pulled the trigger. It was going to be dangerous. Bibbity bobbity bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too easy when you have an account and everything saved, and it's just two clicks away. Seriously, I have like a whole wish list of stuff. Yeah. And you know what kills me? So there's some um, uh, TikTokers and Instagram famous people. And Jeffrey Resendez, welcome in. Thank you very much for the nice compliment. I appreciate that. Um, that will put things out like, so one of them's a seamstress. And she's got like a, over a million followers or, or close to, I think. And she said, you know, normally I don't like asking for this, but here's my Amazon wish list. You know, she's, she's going into college, and so she's got to save up for college. And fans will send her things anyway. And so oftentimes, I guess it's kind of like saying, hey, I have a PayPal. Or, yeah. you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. But, you know, she put it out there. Here's my wish list. If anybody wants to send me any of these things, here it is. And I went on to go look because I, I was thinking about sending her something because, you know, I, I feel I feel you. I feel you. 
and uh, and I want to see her create. Yeah. And the wish list was fulfilled, the whole thing, and I was like, oh. oh. So I was excited because then I get to see what she's gonna make. So I guess that's how it works. It's like kind of like when you send someone a super chat and it goes back into the channel or PayPal mm -hmm. and it goes into the channel. So I guess you know it's just a little different. It was just was a foreign thing for me on TikTok because I didn't know that you know people did that. This was you know a while ago when I was learning things, but there was a whole point to that that I was saying something. Oh, the <laughs> Disney the Disney wish list. And so yeah, I always think. I could never do that though. I feel funny when I say, hey, I have a PayPal account. It's in my description. It's not in this description, but it's in someone's. For Francisco, I mean, it's so, some other one. Obviously, my PayPal's not in someone else's description. Uh, Francisco, welcome in. And we have someone else. Hello. Hello. How's it long going? What? I said, long time no see. Uh oh, is no. my mic not on? No, 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 no. It cut out because I think I talked over you. Oh, okay my fault yeah go ahead what are you guys up to today can you can you hear me yeah uh sitting around doing nothing i i i was looking drooling over the disney site a long time ago chris <laughs> <laughs> and i closed it up and i said no i can't spend any more money for a while <laughs> It's we gotta easy. do our taxes and get any money until the taxes are done. Yeah. I know that's like a relief. It's like, all right, taxes are in. How much can I spend on Disney now? At least oh, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, well, we had a lot of changes this year, so uh I don't know what's gonna happen with the taxes. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's gonna be interesting. And I guess we can't file until the middle of February now. So wacky rules. Well, we won't even have our tax. What? Did we lose you? You cut out for a minute there. Me or Chris? You. Yeah. Oh, okay. I said uh I said we um we won't won't even have our taxes done until um um uh, uh the eighth of February anyway, so yeah. Oh. You know uh I, Wendy, we we get taxed before we get our wages too, but then on top of it we have to have we have to file our taxes and some of us get refunds and some of us have to pay more. So yeah. kind of depends. Don't get me going on taxes. <laughs> <No worries. laughs> Forget it. Yeah. We'll save that for another time. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> oh. There's a song by one of my favorite bands named Reliant K, and it's um something about death and taxes. And that's whenever I hear about taxes, what I think of. Definitely nothing certain in life. Two things certain in life or something. Death and taxes or whatever. I don't know. Death and taxes. That's one of the things I, I can't get over about some of the some of these things that increases your chances of death. I'm okay. What increases your chances of death more than a hundred percent? I I really like to know. <laughs> you can't make this Sometimes I feel like waking up in the morning increases my chances of death. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right? Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Although the other side of that is, is, is uh, I figure if both feet hit the floor, I'm having a good day. <laughs> oh, man. That's true, too. Oh, whoops. Doing things all wrong. Oh, no. How does that go? I can't do Lego. I just don't have the patience. You know, I used to be the same way. But, you know, I will tell you, between watching Viapri Project, watching some of Carlos' streams, um, if I'm echoing, you know, I'll put my headphones in. No, you're not echoing. Well, I don't. Is somebody saying you're echoing? No, I thought I heard an echo. Yeah. I hear it. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting too old for this. Yeah. Oh, please. 
I figure you're approximately half my age. <laughs> well, I don't know. Bye, Wendy. Have a great evening. Have a good evening, Wendy. Bye, Wendy. Jack is our dream. Welcome in. Good to see you. Taxes already increased January 2nd. I'll keep my opinion to myself. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Pretty sure they're pretty close too. Oh, oh, yep. Oh yeah. See, I still hear the echo. I like Rusty's uh, Amazon wish list. Mine would be very similar. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Mhm. Mm that would I'm, be. What? I'm not so sure about the motorized scooter though. I, I think that would increase my chances of death. Afraid of cheese balls? Really? <laughs> really? Who is afraid of cheese balls? Russ. What's a crate of them? Oh, How yeah, big the is the crate, Russ? <laughs> Hold on. Yo, what is he hearing? I have an Amazon wish list. There's, let me highlight that. There's an Xbox, X, a lifetime supply of Hot Tots, a motorized scooter, and a couple of dock wheels. Uh, a crate of cheese balls. Anyone want the link? That would be actually I do because that would be. <laughs> could you imagine where Russ gets? Oh my gosh, I would howl. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we'd get a big kick out of it too. Hello, Isaac. I have a Amazon wish list, but it's usually just that Go XLR that Shep has. It's... Is that his sound machine? Yes. I love that. Seriously, thing. you want one of those sound machines? I do. I love it. Listen, okay. I hate that thing. I, I hate that thing, especially modding when that thing is. I just, <laughs> I just want it for production so I can, yeah. Oh, well, that's I, true. You you, you would use it for good. <laughs> I Guys, I'm telling I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm probably the only one that loves it. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I know that Stacy hates it, and I know I hate it. I know. Pretty Jeff sure Emily hates it. <laughs> what, Chris? Jeff wants to know what pop tots are. Pop tots. So it's funny because. Go ahead. I love the accent, Jeff. And you know what? You have one too. <laughs> so, Jeff does. He's got he's got that Pennsylvania Dutch accent. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I because I don't really notice a heck of a lot, but yeah. Him. It really Jeff, comes out in Jeff when he's on the teacups. Yeah. That accent. Is really <laughs> what doesn't come out of Jeff's mouth when he's on the, the teacups? Well, you could say well, what doesn't mean? come out of Jeff's mouth anytime. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I swear, I swear he's giving, he's he's intentionally giving Chris material. <laughs> Maybe he secretly likes it. Who knows? Yeah. That is funny though. Oh, Pete's watching. <laughs> Cup of Tree Villa, welcome in. Good to see you, honey. Pete's watching. Uh oh, wait, wait. Who says that? Oh no, I better get my Pete's phone. watching, he's always watching. He watches more than I do. That's, <laughs> that's true. All right, I gotta see who's messaging me. Yup, yup, yup. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Flippa's not home. He's still at work. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my notification sound down. Yes, Jeff. Pennsylvania Dutch. My my mother grew up in Lansdale, Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And she had an accent. She called it Pennsylvania Dutch. I don't know what you call it, but that's what I call it. <laughs> it's two Whatever. Tinas and a Chris. I love it. <laughs> I think TV could be a new, well, technically it is a TV show because we're on YouTube right now. So that works. I going to say it could be a TV show. Well, why are we missing pieces? Of course, I'm missing pieces. I'm always showing you two of those and five of those. Why five? Oh, 
Whoops, I guess I'll do that. Oh, hi, Movie Mania, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick, how are you doing? Oh, my goodness. I figured out how to pop out my chat, so I'm so proud of myself that I'm actually able to watch chat and be in the screen. Nice. I love that. Yeah, that's a hidden gem right there. I Kudos to Tracy for introducing me to that one, because otherwise, clueless. One, two, three, four, five. And two of those. One, two. Okay, I did that right. Yay. Usually, I don't do very good. Okay. Oh, no, what's this? So this is what I'm working on now, this piece. I feel like I'm building scaffolding for a what are you doing? Yeah, it does look like scaffolding. So I'm building Hagrid's hut. And I think it, I think this is for the roof. It's going to be my guess that goes on the roof. Is that from Harry Potter? Yep. Harry Potter. So... We'll see I've how this works. What? I've heard of that. Yeah, you gotta watch the movies. You're a little behind the times, buddy. Just how? We should do. The dog is just a pain. <laughs> Who's a pain? The dog. She just came off the couch, and I think she wants to go out. But she's just sitting on the floor right now. Probably waiting until I'm the most busy I would possibly be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, dogs, pets are like that. Cats do that too. My husband grew up. When I met my husband, his parents had seven cats. Oh, really? Yeah, and they each had their own personalities. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. And I thought it was the funniest thing because I didn't I never realize that. But I have what? Our phone was ringing and I our, our phone announces the telephone number and whatever the phone number is, I didn't want it on on the stream. <laughs> Everyone who's calling me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just probably a spam call because it, it <sighs> I don't, we don't even answer it. If our phone doesn't know who's calling, then I don't answer it. <laughs> no. We don't either. It's because ridiculous. The robocalls and the telemarketers that come through, it's absolutely ridiculous. Yep. It's gotten a, a heck of a lot crazy. I was so glad when political season was over because all I was getting was calls from Washington, D.C. and Albany. And I'm like... You know who I'm voting for. Leave me alone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that well, that was my thing. I I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how much you want me to answer that phone and tell you stuff. I'm not gonna. <laughs> exactly. Shelly Skywalker in the house. Hi, Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Oh, girl, you're muted. Yep, you're muted. There we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? I'm 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 hanging in there. How are you doing? Good. Working on anything good today? Any what? You working on anything good today? Um no, just following up on some more editing on my photos. And those, no. those snowflake pictures of yours, Shelly, absolutely amazing. They were oh. so beautiful. Yeah. And the, and the and the and the little the little branch with the frost on it. Oh, it so, I think those are the small things we overlook. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So and they always sparkle. So it always catches my eye. And I had to take like 150 photos to get like one good snowflake photo. You know what I mean? <laughs> I bet. Teeny, teeny, tiny. So. Oh yeah. Uh, all right, what's going on, chat? Let's see. I think the echo is coming from Tina McNeil. It goes away when she is muted. No big deal. Just let me know. Oh, that's a good point, Russ. Yeah, we did notice when you muted it. Um, am I okay. echoing? Let's see. No, no you're okay. not echoing. I am, Shelly. Hang on. Let yeah, me. I think it's. Let me do some cleaning up here. I've got like 14 different tabs open. Something's probably making noise. 
<clears throat> Ani says, we use our phones for texting and internet. I barely talk on the phone. It's usually FaceTime more often. Yeah. Loving this world. Welcome in. And I think I'm all cut up. If I miss you, just say hey in the chat again. And I'll, I'll catch you. I think I got everybody. Is it still there? I don't think so. A little bit. Not a lot. Hmm. Okay. We'll manage. Now, what's this? Oh, I have this piece. That's what this is for. Well, at least now I understand how come I didn't hear any echo because I was the one making it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'll oh, move the G. Excuse me. So, how is everybody doing? I'm honky dory. How are you guys? Good. Good today. Hello. Where are we going? So I got um, a package in the mail yesterday. Um, you got what? A pack. <clears throat> excuse me, a package. I got. I got some mail. Um, really? From a uh, streamer that I watch called the Coin Captain. Ooh. Uh, so he has like different games where he'll sort through different rolls of coins and look for all the the goodies. Mm -hmm. Well, he was out um, a few weeks ago and buying some things, and he saw this Michigan uh, quarter. Oh, hold on! Oh, on. I remember those. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait, how do I do this again? That one. There we go. Oh wow, that's pretty. Let's see, turn it around the other way. Ooh. Yeah, there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So, I love it. Yeah. He said he saw it. He thought it was awesome. So he got it for me. <coughs> you have uh, a fan. <laughs> you're, you're a fan of a fan. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that works. But when he was going through pennies, he, uh, I also got like this little copper penny. Hold on. Oops. Oh, I'm hitting all sorts of buttons. It's like a 63. I guess they're kind of rare. Wow. Anyways. and um, Have a great day, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. I got, uh, buffalo nickel. And... Uh, was it one tenth silver? Wow. Yeah. Nice. That's just for being a participant. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Happily ever, Yaddy. Yaddy? Yaddy. Welcome in. Yaddy. Yeah. Yaddy. Okay. I never know how to say certain things. Well, let's put it this way I've heard it pronounced happily ever yachty before and they didn't correct anybody so okay <laughs> so thanks for letting me share it was a nice little treat yeah those are nice <laughs> oh russ that that's cool you have the whole set i i did collect Ooh. them for a while but the fact is i probably have them somewhere but mm -hmm. um yeah, this quarter is like 39% silver, I guess, which is almost yeah. like the 40. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna you That's so cool. I haven't done coin collecting in a long time, so it's kind of kind of makes me want to go dig in the coin jar right now. <laughs> Can't hear you, Chris. I don't Hi, Tracy. I'm muted. Uh -huh. uh, the pennies are kind of easy to find because you can kind of listen for those too, because they do have a distinctive sound compared to a current one, non copper one. Yeah. Yeah. When he sits there and goes through them, you hear him hit the pile. <laughs> you can sometimes hear the difference. So it's pretty cool. Oh, girl, your hair needs to be brushed. 
Oh dear. <laughs> That's funny. I always tell that to my daughter too, but she's fourteen, so it's Yeah, I, my daughter had an issue with brushing her hair. She didn't want to cut it, but she didn't want to deal with brushing it all the time. Yeah, I had hair all of my all the way down my back, and when my mother brushed my hair, I still have long hair, but um, now I brush it myself. <laughs> it's amazing being an adult, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. Some things are good. Some things not so much. Yep. 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 Did I say welcome in, Tracy? I don't know if I did, but I'll do it again. Brushing hair is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy. Nice, Russ. Yeah. Hang on to that for sure. Oh, Russ, when, sometime on your, uh, maybe on one of your streams, maybe you could show some of those. That'd be cool. Oh, that would be a good idea. I want to do a show on collections. I'm probably going to do one and just show some of the things that I collect. I'd love to have other people on the show up what they collect, too. So That might be, you know what, that might be one of uh, one of those things where, you know how um, Live Place does, uh, does the corroboration where everybody does, you know, like, yeah. a, like a collection thing. That's a really good idea. That is a brilliant idea. Because I was just looking at my lounge flies. Okay. Um, I want to address this real quick, but then I want to go back to the lounge fly because I have to say something. Um, happily, Riyadi says, my hair is curly, so I don't brush it off. Listen, number one rule of curly hair girl, you get out of the shower, you brush your hair quick, and then you let it go. You just yes. let it go. Because if you well, brush it's still it, wet. when it's dry. Yeah. My daughter's is like that. Yeah, she that was it. mine. Yep. Turns into Monica when she went to the Caribbean or whatever they went. Yeah, so like Monica for friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, I uh, I usually I I get out of the shower. I I brush my hair and put it up in this so that it's out of my face because I can't stand it in my face. I'm so. with you, Russ. Uh, yeah, me and Russ. We, we suffer. We brush so much. We just have to brush our hair. It's, it's like Rapunzel over here. I mean, you, guys, you guys should really have a handle on this right now. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, Tracy, you guys naturally curly hair when you grow it up. Seriously. Looks like the. And then he slicks it back and it's looking like the uh, mafia boss. We don't. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to go back to the lounge fly thing. Did you see the neon the lounge fly that's out now? No. The which one? It's got the neon. Ho, 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 I don't know if it's new or what. I saw it Arlene um, from the UBC. She posted, an interview, I think it was a story, and I, I'm going to my, my Funko with my lounge fly bag. That, that, that echo is getting really bad. Here, let me mute myself so that she can talk. <laughs> Might, maybe, can it be fixed with just a pair of headphones? Maybe, maybe? I can't okay. get headphones to work with my laptop. That's the thing. Okay. I, I've got uh, like 18 pair and none of them seem to want to pair with my laptop. Huh. They'll all pair with my phone, but nobody wants to pair with me. Don't even talk to me about printers. <laughs> all right. Someone help me out. Neon lounge fly. Is it old? It's Maybe it's old. It's on Hot Topic. I found it on Hot Topic. Nope, that's not it. Dad Nabbit. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? This new I'm movie? sorry, I don't. <laughs> okay, it's new. I help you if I knew. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Oh, my gosh. I want this bag so bad. Oh, it brings me back to my childhood, and it makes me think of the electric Main Street Electrical Parade. Hold on. Oh. I'm going to share my screen if I could figure it out. Tracy, check your Instagram if you haven't already. Um, 
before I forget to tell him that. All right, hold on, hold on. Here you Yep, yep, yep. Okay. What can you guys see? Can you see it? Okay, here we go. See ya. Look at this bag. Open the person. That's cool. Look at that bag. That's cute. That's cute. I love you so much. You're good. I'm yeah. Good. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm coming back because uh, VP said it was something else. Was it? I don't know. Now it's gone. Nope. No, nope, it's gone. Back. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's it's mild now. Uh, I love this bag, guys. This is. I mean, it's going fast. I can't even get it at the online. It doesn't have it on the Disney Shop Disney site. This is not a sign up for this. Well, then why are you popping up my screen? <laughs> I love it, Tyler. I don't know what this is. Can we get rid of it? Anyways. DP says they restocked the lounge fly yesterday. So, okay. So it is new then. Oh my gosh. I could just stare at this forever. <laughs> I want it. 75. That's not bad. Because you did sometimes they're 90. 75 is doable. I have a question for VP since he's here. Okay. Oh, also, hi, VP. Welcome in. Hey, VP. The uh, Winter Soldier Lounge Fly. <laughs> has that been out a while, or did that just turn out? That thing was awesome. It's a hose. I don't know what that is. So, what about oh, a. It's a hose. It's a hose? No, yeah. it, it looks like a whip. Don't ask me why. It's a it's a hose whip. It's a hose whip. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It's a hose whip. We'll go with that. <laughs> cool. Uh, da, da, da. Russ says, "Do you have echo cancellation on Team McNeil? It's in the Streamyard audio settings, or you might need to turn your volume down a bit." The spoon, mommy. Thank you for the spoon, buddy. Found the spoon. Oh, you already responded. Hmm. I'm well slow. Yeah. I'm just for Arlene, too. Oh. This spider looks kind of. Oh, yeah. It's heavenly. It's heavenly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we... yeah. Hold on. Yeah. The first it came out. Oh, yeah. Spider. It comes with a spider, too. Not my cup of tea. Yeah. Not at all. Spider. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to see that. <laughs> Do you think it's creepy? Yeah, it's creepy. Do you think it's real? No, it's not real. They know it's not real. They know it's toy. Right? You thought it was real, right? Can I have it so you don't lose it? Okay, I'd like you to lose it. They can't see. The camera's up here. <coughs> yeah. No, you're knocking everything over. Can I see? Where are those available, Russ? Russ said he saw that you could buy the Strucker watch from oh, WandaVision and the sword pendant. Hmm. And the necklace too. I haven't watched it yet. It's so good. Yes, VP. I think I thought it reminded me of the movie. Yeah, it's bad. That's what I thought way. of. And I also thought of the main street electrical parade. It gave me that feel from when I was a kid. Oh, holy nostalgia, Batman. So has anybody, everybody else on vision? Everybody what? Is everybody else on WandaVision? No, I'm not. I am. Did you start it yet, Shelly? No. <laughs> it's really good. I've been, I got, like, so we set up this gaming computer, I got a gaming monitor, I got my chair. <laughs> Um, I finally got some games on my PC. So me and my husband, he hangs downstairs and his, and we've been playing video games together when he gets home from work. So that's about oh, what I've been doing. <laughs> did, did Chris just say that's love? No, I said, what do y'all play? Oh, 
Um, you've been, I've been playing you know, um, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, and we've been, he likes to play the zombies. So. Zombies is intense. It really is. You, I scream all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should see me when I play zombie games in virtual reality. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. Maybe this year we'll get fiber optics and I'll be able to stream my games and stuff. There you go. And I haven't been able to see print in like two weeks. My printer needs an update apparently since software on their PC updated. So they're not communicating properly. <sighs> so my toy has been down. I wish they were longer. I think short makes you want to watch them more, but at the same time, it's they go by so quick. And I heard a couple of the other new Marvel series that are coming out are going to be in that same 30 minute time frame. So. That'll be interesting. Jason watched it for the first time last night, and he thought that they were making fun of the old Dolcoms. He thought that the acting was bad, and I was like, what planet are you on? <laughs> That's not it at all. The acting was really good, I thought. And yeah. what happened, you know, um, Elizabeth Olsen said she had researched all those old things so that she would know how to properly act for that era, both eras. And I thought she nailed it. They both nailed it. I thought they were excellent. Um, I thought it was enjoyable. I thought it was funny. It just wasn't his cup of tea. He'll continue watching it, obviously, because he wanted to see what happens. Um, but yeah. To each his own, I guess. All right. Jay, I need this piece. Well, I plan on check, checking it out. Just, um... I'm excited for the, uh, <laughs> the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Looks really good. Is there more Captain America's coming out? Yeah. Got it. I haven't gotten into any of that. I suppose I need to. Because everybody talks about it in all the chats. I need uh -huh. to know what they're talking about. But I'm not really one for FOMO, you know? <laughs> What's that? Fear of missing out. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm all right with missing out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's okay. Oh, don't break that, Jay. Um, yeah, if you're not into something. Oh, dang it. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to get something to drink. Okay, go ahead. Um, Oh, let me see two brown pieces. Ooh, I was kind of hoping I could get through this without missing any more pieces, but I think I'm not going to succeed in that. What is zombie cap, Ross? Pew. 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 A zombie cap? Pew, pew, pew. Oh, no. Is Cap turning into a zombie? Don't tell me that. I don't like zombies, guys. I'm not a zombie person. You've all driven Shelly to drink. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that's all right. I'm already drinking. Of course, this is coffee, but... <laughs> I know, mine too. <laughs> all right. Two brown pieces I need. Where's my pen? Have a great day, happily ever yachty. Bye, guys. Thanks for popping in. Those two. I don't think I'm going to be able to build. I'll do something to buy you. Yeah. Whoops. 
can they see it? They can see it, yeah. There's a fire, sun fake. There's a fire. Oh man. I want you to fire go. So, I am not going live at 5. You see your comment, Russ. <laughs> Tracy will be going live at 5. Um, Jeffrey, the cool thing I like about the newer games is they have the cross platform. So, like when I'm playing Cold War, there's people on the PS, on the Xbox, and stuff like that. So, I like that. It's pretty cool. Sweet. And I found the pieces. So, there we go. So, did you uh, watch the movie Legend yet? Hey, Eve, how you doing? Eve. Hi, Tracy. Did you just get shorn for the occasion, Tracy? <laughs> You're really low again. Did you, just, did you just get your hair cut for the occasion? No, 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 no. no. What? what? You're low again. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that better? So I'm not the only one with audio issues, huh? A little bit. I guess not. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Chat. How are you today? So you're doing a Lego build? What are we building? Something from Harry Potter. What's Harry, Harry Potter? Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I'm doing a Lego build later. Yeah, you are. Five o'clock. Well, technically, it's going to be Kenzie building it and me aggravating Kenzie. Yep. <laughs> Poor That's Kenzie. the part I'm excited for. <laughs> yep. I hey, love well. aggravating her. Well, Listen, you. it's a parent's job to aggravate your children. Amen. Oh, I can get on board with that. Because here's what happens when they're because when they're young, they aggravate you. So when they get older and they can understand how embarrassing it can be to have your mom, have your father or, or whatever they do dance in public. Jay. Give them, you know, say come here, give me a kiss as you're dropping them off at school. <laughs> What'd you do, Tracy? What'd you do to Kenzie? I do it all the time. I'm just here now. She's 19. She's going to be 19 in like two months. Can you believe that? How's that a month and a half. You feel old yet? I, I... I will. Do I feel old? No. Yeah. That's good. That's do I have good. to? Do I have to like turn around and realize that I'm that I have a ni almost 19 year old? Yeah. yeah. If you want. So talk, talking about irritating kids, don't do that. Don't do that. Is talking he playing a kids, drum? He's playing my Lego bin. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Um, so chefs, I'm in the gulag video. Uh, I can't stop listening to. And my kids are thoroughly irritated with me at this point. I have it literally on repeat. And... Um, <laughs> they came in the other day and they looked at me and they said, okay, mom, that's enough. And I was like, no, no, it's not. <sighs> uh, adventures of, at least you don't have a 26 year old. Yeah. Well, have you met Kenzie? She acts like a 26 year old. I have a 31 who's going to be 32 in July. I have no. a 22 that's going to be 23 in April. And then a 21 that'll be 22 in August. I don't believe that. Yeah. I know. When would you hard, start? When, did you start at 12? It <laughs> no. It was Seriously. more like 17, 18. <laughs> okay. Well, then that's, that's maybe April. I'm still a really young, shall we? I mean, I'm 20. Just think about this. I'm 29 and I got a 19 year old coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be celebrating my 20 year, 29th anniversary in a couple weeks. <laughs> you look well, like for 29, Gracie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I've gone past the point where I'm celebrating anniversaries of my 29th birthday. 
Yeah, I just figured the math is getting too hard. That's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, I just need to stop. Hey, listen, Maybe I just I just used a new math. What do they call it now? Common Core. Yeah. I use Common Core. The answer doesn't have to be right. That's true. <laughs> so. Okay. Truth over facts, I guess, huh? <laughs> I got um, bounce. <laughs> you got to bounce, Chris. I just yeah, come in, I, Nat, and then you got to leave. No, no, no. That's because he figured he's going to get some good sound bites, Tracy. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized it's Wednesday, and I have to pick my daughter up from school. So oh, uh, that's important. Make sure, make sure you embarrass her when you pick her up. Yeah, yeah. I like to. Uh, I, I like to turn up the bluegrass Sirius XM bluegrass channel really loud. <laughs> oh. I'm a man with constant yeah. sorrow. Yes. All right, Chris. Thanks for popping in, buddy. Glad to. I enjoyed it. I'll uh, see everybody later. I guess I'll see you around five, Casey. All right, Chris. Yeah. Y'all have a good one. You too, Chris. I'll see you around the streams, Chris. Yep. Well, Tina McNeil. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm putting a face to the name. Is this your first yeah, time? Right? A lot of New Yorkers in the, on the screen right now. New Yorkers. That's right. New Yorkers. <laughs> New Yorkers. Well, New Yorkers with a Boston accent. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I would say, I don't know, Shelly. I don't, I don't really think you're from Wisconsin. You're in Wisconsin, right? I'm in, from Michigan. Michigan. Michigan, that's right, Michigan. So, so okay. when you look at her, she, you got to go like this. Whereabouts are you from Michigan? Are you here <laughs> or up here? Because Michigan is like the palm. You have to go, right? Yeah, see? A mitten, right? Yeah, like a mitten. Oh, looks, a mitten. Yeah. It's a mitten. Michigan so, mitten. I'm Michigan up here. <laughs> at the top. Wow, well, you're way up in the north. But then you got the Upper Peninsula, which is like that. Right. So. She so she's close to finishing her sentences with a. Yeah, pretty close. I'm still a troll though, because I live under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that your kids messing with you? My son. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what They're it sounds so like. They're so cute. <laughs> Those kids you. were so fun. You do know what it sounds like, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that picture of the snowflake that I took, I went to look up facts about snowflakes, right? Yeah. yeah. And there is a man um, named Wilson Bentley, and they coined him or called him um, – the Snowflake Man. Yeah. They did a children's book about him and stuff. Yeah, I like the thousands. Pardon me. Yeah. I like the quote that you put in with the photo. That was from him, right? Yeah. 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 And then I was looking up stuff about frost, and I found out there's different types of frost and what kind they are. <laughs> Oh yeah, wow. I know those rabbit holes. <laughs> I fall in a rabbit hole on YouTube, bad. Yeah, yeah, me too. What culture really gets me? I'll, I'll end up watching like a bunch of what cultures back to back. I like watching the classic cartoons. Oh yeah, they're watch, the best. I watch the old old sitcom like uh, the Ghost of Mrs. Muir had me going for a couple of weeks. <laughs> wow. I should be out there shoveling my driveway, but I refuse to. Did you get? Oh, I was going to ask you if you're done shoveling out yet. Oh no, nah. we only got like two inches. I'd say we probably got about four to six. Where's my snow? I only got that snow the other day, and it was less than an inch of snow. <laughs> well, we, we I gladly, I gladly ship it to you. Yep. <laughs> Me too. Take it I off. Much lake effects snow, and we're kind of just off like a valley here along the river. So mm -hmm. I'm close yeah. to a river. We don't get too much. A very we close get to lake a river. effect, and we're on the side of a mountain. So I, I'm pretty sure we get it all. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Good. It's only temporary, see? Yes. I couldn't do it all year. I couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't live in a snow all year round. It would drive me nuts. Mm -hmm. In fact, I can't wait to move out of this state so I can be somewhere where I never have to see shovel it snow again. Uh, my husband won't move. Huh? <laughs> my husband won't move. <laughs> yeah, mine either. Not well, I don't want to move from Michigan, but if things should go in a certain direction, I'm Texas and Florida are looking pretty decent these days. <laughs> Look at Tina's Tina's smiling. She wants to go to Florida. <laughs> in the same boat, Shelly. I love it up here. I do. I really love it here. So. Yep. As I get older, I'm, I'm more and more afraid of breaking a hip. Oh, hey, Ken. Hey, Kenzie. Hello. Hi. Oh, I'm looking in chat. All crazy here. So. <laughs> yeah, clean up the room. Yeah, I'm not the only one that uses this room. Huh? I'm not the only one that uses the room. Oh yeah, because because I have this all over the place. That's one thing. <laughs> I use the room for streaming, and I use the room for my school stuff. And that's a cool bush. Give him back. Very cool. She's like, "What's his father?" Is that, is that crocheted? It is. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> She's got, on. She's got three of them. I can knit, but I don't know. It's an Eeyore that. coat. I love it. And then I think it's a piglet coat, right? Yep. Hold on. Can you tell I watched the stream? <laughs> I can juggle these things, either that or throw it at her. Annie Coog, welcome in. Good to see you. She left. Yeah. Are you surprised? I mean... I mean, yeah. He is She's... going on 19, Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Crazy. So here's this progress. And they figured out what this is for. It's going to hold the utensils, the kitchen utensils. What are we, what are you building again? A kitchen? <laughs> Hagrid's hut. Hagrid's hut. Hagrid's oh, okay. Hut. All right. That's that little thing is going to hold the kitchen utensils. Um, yeah, we're going to find out how that's going to work. Actually, <laughs> I'm not sure. We got a spoon. I don't think you can eat much out of that. No, I don't think my kids would give that to their bobbies. Oh, bucket. Not sure what you need a bucket for. Gotta, gotta feed the dragon somehow. Exactly. Norbert's gotta eat. And the hippogriff. And the the hippogriff. hippogriff. That's right. Buck beak. Buck beak. So, yeah. so, whoops. Oh, that was not insecurely. Okay, let's try this again. Excuse That's me. Right. Half a giant. True, Annie. Very true. Yeah. So steeped in Harry Potter world. Annie, I am building Hagrid's Hut, the Harry Potter Lego series. And um, I am just winging it at this point. I'm just missing a piece. And <sighs> so I said I should probably just build the entire thing so I see what I need to order in case I need to order any more pieces rather than just the one I'm missing. Um, because if you Order just one piece for 14 cents. You have to pay like six dollars in shipping, and it's just not worth it. So, Don't they usually come with like extra pieces anyway? Yeah, but not this yeah, but piece that I lost. They don't have they don't have <laughs> extra pieces for every every yeah. thing. So yeah, it's yeah. There's a couple of things that you know. Let the last thing I think we built there was extra pieces. Oh, no, I think I did that wrong. Oh, Annie. What do you mean it's a good thing you don't have display space? You don't have walls? <laughs> I got a whole bunch of shelves that I'm willing to sell. All the stuff on the shelf. Anybody interested in any, like, beauty yeah. stuff? Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to be in trouble. Huh? You're going to be in trouble. 
Ah, I'm not scared of her. <laughs> he says after she left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did Bill Cosby used to say? I brought you into this world. I can take I, you out. <laughs> I'll take her out. <laughs> nah, she's a good kid. I couldn't ask for I couldn't ask for a better kid. No, you couldn't. Did you give her the live long and prosper just then? <laughs> hey, where'd you put my whip? Okay, that does not sound good at all. Okay, now no. she said she, <laughs> she yeah. put in a chat she should be scared of me. <laughs> Where's the little black whip? Do you have it? <laughs> oh. Where'd you put it? I don't Eat it. Where? Where? Can you come find it? Well, get it for me. You took it away. Oh, oh! Did did uh, he take pieces out of your bin? Is that what happened? He stole my whip. Yeah. Your whip? My whip. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was very nice of you, Kenzie. She unloaded the dishwasher. Kind of? Yeah, I don't know where this better goes. We'll figure it out. That was nice. <laughs> One last thing you have to do. Yeah, that's what I was taking, Annie. <laughs> Wait, what? Speaking of kids, oh, Tina's looking for a whip. <laughs> I'm just glad Chris left for that one. That's all I'm saying. I, he, like he doesn't watch his little rewatch. He probably well, sits there and goes, I guess. I mean, <laughs> There's definitely things that we've gotten you on good sound bites, so. Oh my gosh. I can't even eat a piece of candy without it sounding like something it shouldn't. I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, remember, Pete's watching. <laughs> I know, I know, that's what scares me. So Kenzie says, now if I had asked her to unload the dishwasher, she would have complained about it, but she did it out of the kindness of her heart. <laughs> I, I'm the oh, you <laughs> That's what happens when you only have one kid. You put all the eggs in one basket. And then she reminds you, that's nice. And then she reminds you that she's the one who's going to be, you know, putting her, put, she, she's going to be the one picking out my nursing home. Oh, I'm glad that my kids have said that to me. I'm joking. <laughs> she's never said that. <laughs> my goodness. <sighs> Okay. Oh, what the heck? Now I'm supposed to put this. I think that's in the middle. How'd you turn your hand on the air fryer? Did what? you touch it when it was on? Who knows? Wait, wait. What did you do again? She said she burned her hand on an air fryer. Oh, I thought it was you. I was like, okay, snow blowers and air fryers. Tracy, Listen, it. I haven't started the snow blower yet. This, this, this snow. I've done it. I've snow blowed once this year, and I've <laughs> kept all my fingers. Well, that's good. It's progress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's a good progress. thing. Yeah. Okay, that's not matching up. Why isn't that matching up? I was dumping out the contents. Uh -huh. I was dumping out the contents. The whole thing came out. Really? It was still hot. Yeah. Just like whole water over. I did. Right when it happened. Oh. But yeah, so oh, I don't know if like that's a, gonna blister. No, it looks like a first degree. Okay. That might blister right there. That's what I'm saying. I think that's, that's gonna blister. Yeah. So just yeah, yeah that I, some I made pack on it. I made chips. Yeah. And when I was dumping out the chips, the thing on the bottom fell out yeah. on my hand. I just run cold water over and stuff. Okay. Yeah, keep running running cold water until it doesn't burn anymore. Mm -hmm. They used Takes to say a couple minutes. Remember when they used to say put butter on it? Yeah. I was oh, just no. going to say, just for God's sake, don't put butter on it. Yeah. Don't That's an old wives' tale. It's an old wives' tale. Well, I guess if it's a, it's a first or a second degree burn, butter would be all right, but you definitely don't do it for a third. Yeah. I, I don't know. I can't even imagine putting butter on it for a first or second. I mean, it, it, it just, I just can't imagine it helping. <laughs> well, because it's cool. And it stay, it's gelatinous, so it'll stay cooler longer. Okay. Cool water. Like butter. I mean, but but you, if it's an open wound, you don't want to do that. No. Yeah, it's starting to blister. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, cold water. Ouch. 
I keep an aloe plant in my house. I got a few. Aloe's good. I'm going to tell you, the aloe plant is nothing like pure aloe compared to the stuff that's in the green bottles that they sell at the store. Because if you look at the back of the ingredients, aloe is not the first ingredient. It's like alcohol or yeah. something else. Yeah. It's supposed to be aloe. There's like very little aloe in it. You know what I mean? And isn't so, the whole point of aloe is that it's supposed to be a disinfectant without it burning or stinging? It's soothing. Yeah. It reduces the burn and it reduces the, I don't know, the uh, blister, blistering. But, it helped with like, uh, when I got poison oak, I just open up a leaf, stick it on there and keep it on there regularly. It helped it heal a lot, you know, a lot quicker. That yeah. night is honey. This honey is a you know a natural antibacterial. It's better than Neosporin and stuff. Putting water on it. Yeah. It hurts too much. Took right. it under water now. Well, then take a rag, make okay. it cold, put cold water on it, and just hit it. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it, I saw it. I can yeah. see it. There's a little spot. I there's could see it when you were standing back there behind your dad. Lines. Yep. Oh. Children. Ice cold water. For like 15 minutes yeah she said she said it was starting to hurt with the cold water so i just told her to put a make a cool rag a cool washcloth put it on there yeah. a blister is a blister it'll go away i've had mm -hmm. many of them yeah and i got little scars and stuff <laughs> i'm working yep. at the pizza place and stuff you know <laughs> yeah well that's the thing you know yeah <laughs> I burnt my hand on, or my arm, on um, yeah, Russ, that's what on on. something cooking uh, Christmas, and I said, "Well, it's Christmas, it's tradition. I have to burn myself at some point during cooking process." I've I've, I've had small little burns from hit, you know, like when we do the pizza stream, I'll put the pizza in, I'll hit the rack every once in a while, try to be yep. as quick as possible. It just happens. Um. um. I'm but trying to think of the stuff. It's mineral water. I think it's called Willard's water. And it's from a natural spring out west. And you're supposed to mix it with distilled water, like so many ounces per gallon of water. And you spray that. I ended up getting it when I worked at the pizza place. And I'd spray it on a burn, and the pain automatically goes away. And you can drink I'd it. I'd heard of the Willard's water. I didn't that know anything is. about it, but yeah. Russ said, Russ said Ken should call an ambulance. He said that she did call an ambulance because we heard the sirens. Oh, yeah, the sirens. <laughs> he always swears when he burns his hands. I bet he does. I'm pretty sure I do. I, am, I, never, I never swear. <laughs> I don't, I don't no. swear, swear. There's, but there's, I, never, there's never been a curse word to utter from my mouth ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Did you say I'm fibbing? Maybe. <laughs> I may have slipped yesterday. I'm not sure. Did you ever? Just oh, yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Art check. Yeah. Art check. Yeah. That could have been a lot worse. You probably back. I think it was, it was like a year ago that's happened. So I haven't been to Disney. It in was a year. because it was last year's art festival, wasn't it? Uh, I haven't been to Disney in over a year. Aww. me neither. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Going through withdrawal. I haven't been like sixteen years. Oh, seventeen years. But you like Disney, don't you, Shelley? Or how I, did you get involved in I Disney? Love, I love Disney. I think we all came from the same place. We all started watching the same stream. Yeah. I had, um, you know, I remember all my Disney albums, my LPs, my vinyls. That's how, that's the movies that we had because we didn't have VHS. So if you wanted to replay something, you constantly played those record albums. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And I have a bunch of cool Disney books. I've, saw, I've seen them on Amazon. My mom sold my others at a yard sale. Do you know how much they would be worth now? Yeah, it's a little disappointing. But then again, you don't realize how much stuff is like you know, how it's going to increase or whatever. And then the yeah. stuff that you the stuff that you think that's going to increase doesn't. 
Right. It wasn't for the books. It wasn't about the value as much. It was as my sentimental value, you know? So. Right. But like, remember all the people, That's remember when beanie babies were like huge and everybody thought that they were going to like increase in super value. But the problem was, is everybody was collecting them. So you oversaturated the market. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just going to say. The only reason why some things are worth so much is because most people shot them out. Can I share a screen real quick? I've got these books that I took pictures of a while back. <laughs> these ones right here. I'm going to expand. Hold on. Nope, that's the wrong button. Shelly doesn't want to share her whole screen. Well, I just have a bunch of stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I know the feeling. I've got like about five streams going right now. So these are the books that I had. Oh, yeah? Worlds of Nature, Fantasy Land, America, and Stories from the Other Lands. So. Wow. Yeah. Then there's another set, too. Plus, there's the regular ones you got monthly. I had a bunch of those, but um, yeah. I gotta set. I gotta set this up with like another like three or four monitors. Okay, that would be cool. Okay. I gotta set this room up with like three or four monitors going on at the same time. I got two, and then I have a older TV over here. Oh my goodness, Pete! Really? You never know. Did anybody say Pete's name three times? No, I only said it once. Well, <laughs> no. I only said it twice in the whole total screen. <laughs> but I know, said that he's been watching. He is watching. He texted mm -hmm. us to tell us he was. <laughs> he's like Beetlejuice. You say his name three times. He's going to show. True. Yes. I've said before, Pete's watching more than I am. <laughs> and that's true because you always comment, always watching. <laughs> yep. Uh, All right, guys, I have to wrap it up. The that's fine. Great, great British Mickey Waffle is going live at three, and I don't want to overstep on their toes. Um, I highly suggest. You yes, exactly, Annie. He literally is always watching. <laughs> I'm always watching something. But he's watching everything. Who's who? Who watches like regular TV anymore? I don't. My husband does, but I mean, I, even I, he's watching hockey. I cut the cable. I cut cable, and now we're, 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 we tried to cut it off the other day, and they said they won't actually cut it off off until like after Valentine's Day or something. Yeah, no, I just went with over the air antenna. So yeah, we got that. And I'd have a mutiny in my house if I tried that. I started buying DVDs and Blu-rays. <laughs> oh my god! Spend less actually than the monthly cable bill. Jeez. <laughs> I'm telling you, we got rid of Dish Network, and I just said, you know what? I watch YouTube anyway. I don't watch. I watch very little on TV. Um, and you watch regular TV on YouTube, Russ? You can. You can get yeah, I know. TV. Yeah. But I tried to tell my husband. He still won't ha have it. <laughs> it's worth it, I think. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. What do you guys have coming up on your channels? We'll start with Shelly. Any trivia? Um, Maybe Saturday or Sunday. I'm trying to see who's on at what time on Saturdays because I'm doing... um like a memory game with 80s TV commercials. Ooh. Oh, so, um, I could possibly do that. I kind of want to do like a Saturday morning because it's Saturday morning commercials, but so it might just be like a pop-up either like Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to post it here in a little bit. And um, gotcha. I've been putting a couple shorts up, trying to figure that out because I have a bunch. Um, I'm going to post it. Other than the Dole Whip, I can't think of anybody else that goes live on sun on Saturday mornings. Um, I know uh, Diz Our Dream does eleven o'clock. Uh, 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 Tim Pruitt's been going on from ten to. Oh, 11. that's right. 
Yeah. Tim's you know, taking over that uh, coffee contemplation slot. Well, yeah. that coffee contemplation spot was the same time as this our dream. So it's always been a toss up between those two at times. So uh, Tim has been doing, you know, coffee with toilet paper. I'm sorry, Tim. Um, coffee with Tim. But now I guess he's calling a coffee with the shine or something like that. I, I guess he's been watching too much uh, The Shining. Um, no, no. That <laughs> um, this our dream goes on at 11 Eastern Standard Time. And then Ma Mama and uh, Papa Mouse have been doing 11 o'clock or mm -hmm. 1 o'clock uh, Eastern. So yeah. I'm trying to get something together with a Star Wars book club because I'm, I love reading so much. And Tina has me reading. And I was thinking about just doing one, one once once a month, but I don't know what time I'm going to do that. I'm trying to get a hold of some people that are interested in reading Star Wars books. So mm -hmm. I read them if I had them. I just don't have them yet. Well, I, I what I did was, uh, and what's good is that like Amazon with free shipping, and some of the soft cover books are like six ninety nine. I I know back when I started reading them, I would they would uh, before they had Amazon Prime, they had you would get free shipping if you ordered over $25. I'd order like four books just to get there. But I digress. Yeah, I can't read anymore. My eyes just, my eyes start to burn after about half an hour. I used to have to read all the time at work and um, I just haven't been able to get back into reading yet. It took me a while. I got back in it. I think it's funny because I used to hate reading. You couldn't get me to read if, if you tried. And now, like, I can't put a book down. I have to always be reading something. But I can only read one book at a time because it gets very confusing if I don't. Um, yeah, I could never do that either. I, I can only read. I could only read one book at a time. And I used to read a lot. Yeah. But like I said, I I had to do it for work so much, and I just couldn't get back into it again. Yeah. I have three books going at a time. <laughs> Yeah, I think my husband does that too. Mood for because they make they're all three like different. So I can't you know. do I can't do it. Are you reading that now too? No. Well, Annie Koff just uh, said that she's rereading Kingdom Keepers. Annie I like Koof. these. Sorry. The, I don't know why I, like I want to call her Annie Koff. The only problem is is they're they're gear sensitive because things change at Disney so much. Yeah, but I like that. Russ says he graduated from Dr. Seuss last week. Yeah, I saw that. But thanks I for inviting me on, Tina. Yes, thanks for the invite. Yes, thank you for inviting me on, Tina. Thank you for joining me. Um, tonight, I will not be going live at 5. Tracy will be. And uh, I'll be going live tomorrow at 4. I think we're just going to do a chat and chill. And that's it. I think something else like today. I'll be working. Where they go. Tracy will be working. Um, so there won't be nearly as much uh, shenanigans, but you know, it is what it that is. is true. Um, if you want the shenanigans, then you come to book club on Tuesdays at three and <laughs> happen, happen, I guess. Um, uh, I love when she starts blushing. <laughs> Seriously, and I thought by wearing my red shirt yesterday, it would disguise the red. No, it made it worse. So lesson learned. Um, <laughs> Friday at 2 p.m., we're doing a favorite Bernie Sanders memes stream. I'll be on with, uh, it's on my channel, and we'll have Kelly from the Mickey Bunch and Chris Dadbilt, who was with us earlier. And um, then at 3 o'clock, Rob Fuzz's birthday stream, I will be on that. And then 9 o'clock on Monarch Moments, we're going to be making something with the Monarch crew. Uh, and you have to stay tuned to see what we're going to be making. Um, so, oh my God, Pete! <laughs> oh my word! Way to end the stream, Pete. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, great, great, yeah. Pete. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta make sure I have enough gas to get to Baltimore back. <laughs> I love you guys to pieces. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. I was. I'm not gonna say what I want to say. Happy middle of the weekday. Um, <laughs> and now I know what you wanted to say. I'm halfway there. Smart, smart move, there, Tina. Smart. <laughs> oh, know that you are loved, blessed, and appreciated. And um, I am thankful for you. Bye, guys. And we're going to have to dance it out.